All right, good day everyone. Um, today we're gonna do some notes over notes, points, lines, and planes. As you can see, I do have my journal because I'm going to have to put some stuff in, in the journal. So first thing you wanna do is just open up to um, a blank page. And then I actually have a handout. This handout is posted in Canvas. If you do have a printer, you can print this out and then fill in um, the blanks and then glue it in. If you do not have a printer, you would just need to write it out by hand. So that's what you would have to do, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and put the title in um, the journal and then I'll probably just tape this in or cut this in or something. So I'm just gonna title it this, Notes. Normally I do not use pen. Um, I would advise you guys to use um, pencil when you're doing your math. I'm only using a pen because it's easier for you guys to see. But if you want to, you can always do your notes in pen. Just make sure um, all your classwork is done in pencil. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we want to define a word. The word's not on here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write that word right here first. So um, this is one of your vocab words. I do want you to write it again. So everyone write down undefined terms. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and define that. I'm gonna write it first and then I'll read it. I'll read it. These terms can be only be explained, sorry, sorry about that, using examples and descriptions. These terms okay, can be used to d define other geometric terms and properties. Okay, um, the three things that we normally put under here will be points, lines, and planes. Sorry. I'm gonna spell that wrong. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanna do. Now, if, again, if you have the handout, you're gonna go ahead and just print, um, take your handout and just fill in as I filled it in. If you do not have the handout, that is not a big deal. Um, you just write everything into your um, a journal um, exactly. So, first thing here, let's set this up where we can see it better. So I'm gonna try to use a pencil this time. Is this one here says zero in points extends forever in two directions. So most of you guys can tell by looking at this, this would be a line. Okay? And then the symbol you always use for a line kind of looks like this right here already. That. And you put A B because you use the two points you see here. You can use any two points, all right? So that's a line. I'm just gonna start because it's one of the words we had earlier. All right, then the other thing right here, it says two endpoints has a finite length. So you can see that there's no um, arrows at the end. This is called a line segment. All right, and the symbol for that is just a straight line. And some of this is in your um, vocab, which is fine, but you do need to write it again in your notes. And this will be called XY, line segment XY. All right, let's look at the third one here. It has one endpoint, extends forever in one direction. So you can see it has one arrow here. Um, this is actually called array, all right? Array is named starting with its endpoint. So, okay, so it's what we call um, QR, or you can call it RQ, so QR. So it's array, all right? All right, oh, I forgot the word ray, so make sure, make sure everyone write the word ray right there. All right, so this one here extends forever in all directions. And sorry, the letters are a little hard to see. Um, this is a, a televised V, and then you have F, H, and G, right? 
Uh, there's really no symbols, but you can name it with three or more letters that are in the plane. So you can call it FGH, doesn't matter what order. Or you can name it with the um, couple of letter that's italicized, or it can be plane V. All right? So this will be a plane. I'm going to add a few more things here. You might already have this into your vocab. So it says extends forever in all directions. So let's add it has no thickness. width or depth okay and it represents a flat surface all right so now we're going to go down here and do these other ones all right this one says points that lie on the same line all right Here's an example here. F and G lie on the same line. F and H lie on the same line, but F, G, H do not. So this will actually be collinear. All right? And as you can see, F and G are collinear. You can actually say F and H are collinear. And then F, G, and H will be considered non-collinear. right? Points that do not lie on the same line, we just talk about that. That would just be non-collinear. Okay. All right. And then let's go to this one. Points are lines that lie in the same plane. Okay. So this is called coplanar. All right. So you can see right here you have W, X, and Y. These are actually on the same plane. And I actually posted a video. You don't have to watch it, but it's in the gay section if you want a little bit more examples because he has kind of like a 3D model or something that kind of shows it a little better. So you might, because a, a lot of times people have a hard time understanding the planes. All right. Points or lines that do not lie in the same plane. Okay. So let's look over here at the example. We have this plane is going to extend forever this way and this way, this way, and this way, but it has no depth. So that means if this is going, and it's hard to visualize, but we kind of use this. So here's my um, paper. Here's my plane. So if this pencil was going through it like this, which it doesn't fit, it's too big, you can see that this point is not on that plane. So that's one way you can kind of think of that, all right? So that's why Z is not on that plane, all right? So this will be non-complanar. Okay. All right, so let's just add a few more things. You guys already have these words defined in your theme, but we want to go over these again because these are really important words. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's add point here because we've got enough room. We can just write it on the paper. Let's actually extend this thing so we can have the examples too. <clears throat> I'm going to make the definition a little bit bigger on this one because it's kind of a lot to write. All right. I think I need a little spot. For a bit. Okay, so this is point. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. It has no actual size, okay? It used to represent an object or location and space. Right, so that's that one characteristics. Um, you name it, so it can be named by. And so, for example, sorry about that. Didn't know the paper was off. That would be point A. Okay. Let's do space. I might have to continue with the last one in my journal because I don't think I'm going to have enough room here. So we're going to do, and we can put a little star by that one too, because that's one of the ones that were in undefined terms. So let's write space. And this one I'm just going to define. It is a, because you can't really, <laughs> there's no picture. Set of all points is boundless and three dimensional. Okay. And then one more word I'm just going to define. I'm not going to have the picture for it is skew, so if you have skew lines, okay, 
All right. Okay. There are two non complementary lines that do not intersect. So kind of they're like on two different planes, all right? So they do not intersect. So sometimes people have a hard time thinking about that. You would say, oh, that line intersects that one, but it does not. So that's what skew lines are. So that's pretty much it for um, the notes. So again, this will be in, uh, posted on the Canvas page. So you can always go back to it if you need to, review it. Also, a lot of these words are the same words that are actually on your definition. So you already wrote them once, so they kind of should be sticking in your head. All right, so that's it for now.